Hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2. I'm your host, the Gamer Darius. Last we left off, I pseudo kinda cheated out of doing the rest of the Crown of the Ivory King, but, you know, I had my reasons. I didn't want to be there forever doing nothing but being killed by NPC invaders, and turns out, uh, PC invaders as well, because when I was going there to try to find any other items within the areas that are just before that NPC invader, I had gotten invaded three times by that si by a singular person. So, noble efforts there, Kathleen, but I had bested you two out of those three times, and the third time you just kind of poofed. So, in any case, now we're going into the next DLC. And if Forbidden is the path of the ancient king's domain. With water dry and path amiss, woeful temptation is dismissed. In the tower of the old iron king resides a child of dark. Trespassers will face adversity befit of a monarch. If the internet has told me anything though, this one is not going to be as hard as the other DLC. Well, this looks pretty, uh, castle-y. Can I open this yet? What's up? Oh, I can. I was not expecting being able to open it just yet. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to check out what's to the left and to the right here. Oh, um, what are these? Locking on. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Try hint. Brilliant. Awesome. That helps. The sign written here is being channeled from somewhere far away. What? Beggar visions and seers. I have no clue what these are for. Like, they look similar to the ones that are in, uh... Where's the Medusa? Elium Lois, the one just before we hit there, so... I don't know. Well, let's take our first steps. Beware of mimicry. Oh, goody, there's going to be mimics here. Let's take our first steps into the next DLC. I forget this one's name. I think it's just Crown of the Old Iron King. Oh, my lord. Okay, I'm gonna hope that that's ash and not snow, because I'm getting sick of snow. Man, this place is... Like, compared to Elium Lois, this place is a wreck. I... What is that? That... Um... Okay. I just got a bunch of smelter wedges. What? Oh, gods. I really should have paid attention more to, uh... Let's see. An iron wedge forged in this land destroys the Ashen Idol. The Ashen Idol is a great consequence to Nadalia, who, after having renounced her flesh, entrusts her very being to it. Okay. So... Am I doomed here? Am I... Wait. Like a dream. Oh yeah, because uh, my dreams consistently consist of consistently consist of walking on large iron chains to nowhere. Ugh. I already hate this DLC. It's making me freaking walk perilously on a giant iron chain. Okay, to be fair, it's not ice covered. Broom Tower. Yeah, I really should have paid more attention during uh, watching Let's Plays of these DLCs. Halloween covers them pretty extensively, by the way. So if you want to watch someone that's not blindly running around like a chicken with their goddamn head cut off, I suggest going there to uh, Halloween. Halloween 4545. Whoa! What are you? Uh, eat? 
Eep, eep, what, what, I... Okay. Soul of Nadalia, Bride of Ash. I am so confused. Soul of Nadalia, a small fragment of a soul. Who renounced her flesh and wandered Broom Tower. When Nadalia came to this land, the king she sought was no longer there. Dispirited, she forsook her own soul and clung to the heirlooms of the old king. This is only a fragment of a soul and cannot be used in this state. Ah, Jesus. It's freaking episode 11 of Garo. Anyone watch that? Garo's pretty cool. It's like an ad it's like an adult Power Rangers. More drama and kind of more action too. Uh, okay. So do I go that way or that way first? Let's try this way first. It looks more hidden. Maybe I can just. Oh lord, that's a long way down. Okay. Me, sanity's just going to be in question here, and well, it's a good thing I can't return. Old growth bomb. Uh, did I just do a bad? Oh no, I can just drop down here, down here. There's a. There's a faint whispering going on. It's kind of creepy. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Oh goody. Ash cover citizens, it's like freaking Pompeii. What are you? What is that? Are you another golem thing? Oh. Either you are extremely weak against magic, or I am way OP for. Oh. Oh, that wasn't, uh. That wasn't a little bit disturbing. Hey, guys. Let's, uh, let's have a bunch of Pompeii-esque statues of people made of ash. Brilliant! Seriously, though, this is kind of funny. Like, I went from a DLC where I am getting pretty much wrecked every two seconds by something to... Oh, hey, two swings. Cool. Stop that creepy... Wait. Is the creepy talking those shards in the... Nadalia, or whatever they're called. Those Nadalia things. Those wedge things, the things that I have to shove the wedge into. That sounds dirty. Item ahead, stay calm. Eh, I'm never calm when it's a parapet to my death. Yeah, this sounds like there's another one somewhere. Pretty close by, by the sound of it, too. Man, this place is just strewn with items. A scythe plus seven. Uh, are you prepping me for making freaking... a bunch of weapons from the bosses? Oh no, wait, that's how Dark Souls 1 works. Hmm. I don't trust that chest. Okay, I suddenly trust the chest a little bit more. Okay, I fully trust this chest. I never trust a chest until I have fully opened it. Now I probably should also be looking for uh... Oh my lord. I should probably also be looking for uh... good old fashioned... Where's the Medusa? It's, what's its... I can word. Seriously, these guys are getting wrecked. Secret doors, that's what I should be looking for. Dance of Fire, I gotta look at that later. Small orange burr. Cool, I was running out of those. Like, I had done a couple of, uh, assists of helping some guys beating the burnt ivory king. Whoa, hello. You are covered in ash, sir. Ow. Does that make them more resistant to my magic? I don't know. Seems like there's some sort of distinction between them, but I can't really tell. And two! You know, if this is like releasing some child of the dark soul to like the afterlife or 
if there is an equivalent of in this game, then, you know, I'm all for this. I'm gonna try to help her as best as I can, because I'm a cool guy like that. But yeah, I should probably be looking for secret doors. Try jumping. Ah. Uh, nah. No, thank you. Can I open this? Jammed? Okay. Oh, I didn't want to pop a radiant. I wanted to pop a... Eh, whatever. I just wanted to pop a basic life gem, not a whole radiant one for that little sliver of health I had. Missing... Oh! That one had an old mundane stone in it. Creepy. Feel like... Oh. Oh-ho! Whoa, hey! Oh, I see what you're gonna do there, game. Oh, I see what you're doing there, game. Ow. Ow, but not really ow. What the hell? You know, one of the other items I was actually really considering using for this playthrough was the Lion's Great Axe, because they're, they're huge Great Axes. And I absolutely love huge weapons, as you could probably tell. So, the Lion's Great Axe is pretty tempting, it's just that it requires a strength of 30. And while this I could do a strength of 30, I don't know. I just don't know. I need to, because one of the other things was that I think you can actually enchant it, empower it, and whatnot. So that would be helpful, especially since uh, there are enemies that are weaker against fire or weaker against lightning. And then I could just resin powder it and be all like, boo yeah. Wait. You know, I'm in a place covered with fire. So, yeah. Flame quartz ring seems like a. Oh. Oh. This looks like a bad. Dude, no, you, you don't want to walk in the flames. Told ya. Wait. Seems like there's something there. One second. Because remember when I was. Exploring again, well, I was exploring off camera, but I found out a secret on camera about a shield I decided to never use. There were a bunch of, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna... Nope. Twas not as I thought. Hmm. Just gonna calmly go down this lat, Down the ladder, thank you. Hey, there's stuff. Hey, there's more explosives. Oh. Are you seriously really that injured by fire? Ha. Huh. I guess I can't be too terribly surprised. Like, I guess... Most of, I did it again. Um... Y'all gonna... Be more careful. Just gonna calmly collect this and try my theory against everything else that's here. Nope, not there. Oh wait, is there something here? I don't know. For a moment there, it looked like there was a secret in the wall. I'm paranoid like that. Hush. Whoa. I did not mean to just fall down, but hey. Allow me to get at him, so. I don't know why I'm being more cautious for, uh, not traps, but for secret walls and whatnot. Really, guy? You're just gonna chill out right there. No, if you're just gonna chill out. <laughs> oh. 
Oh wait, no, that looted them out. Okay, that's not. Uh, I hate spear wheels. Oh, fuck all pine resin. Goody, this will go right along with my already magic. Oh, I forgot. To okay. Cestus plus eight. What the frick frack? Yes, frick frack's a word. I'm making it an official word. Everybody's heard about the word. Oh, I don't like the positioning of all these flamey cow dudes. Just saying. What are you... Oh, you're wielding that one mace. Okay. It does not open from the side. I didn't trust you for a moment there. Wait. Ow! Oh! oh, you bastard. You dirty bastard. Mmm. Guess I should be more careful while I uh, trying to get that chest. If I can get that chest. I wonder if I can get that chest. I. That was not what I intended on casting. No, whoa. Wait. Oh, he attacks from down there, but the arrows he fires. I don't. Don't fully understand. But I don't think I'm going to make it's going to make it easy to get that one chest. So let's try it around this other way for a bit. For one, and that, that area looked like a dead end anyhow. Alright. I'm hoping to be able to face some sort of boss within this first like hour of this DLC, but you never know. Never know. Ooh. Ooh, you're big in. Oh, I think I remembered you. You guys suck. Because every time they swing around their maces, I think. Whoa. What are you? Uh. You okay? Is he gonna follow me around? I hope it doesn't follow me around. It's creepy when things that don't talk follow me around. It doesn't open from this side. Wait, what does that say? Attacking required ahead. Oh! And that does the knocky knocky. And then someone should come around and say, hey, what was that sound? Knock, knock. Anyone? Hello? Like, I hear them on the other side. They're moving around. I don't think this is what it's intended to do. Yeah, no. I guess not. Watch, I walk away from the door and dude opens it and is like, Oh man, it's a freaking... Ding dong dash, or whatever the hell it's actually called. Never actually did those when I was younger. I had a very uneventful. You're gonna come back to life. Like, I'm gonna go open. Can I just. No? Okay. I'm gonna go open the door. No? You're not gonna come back to life? Oh my. Hi. Um. Please don't come blow up to kingdom come. Actually, you know what? Yeah, okay, that was kind of foolish on my behalf. But still. Radiant life gen times three. Yep, there's big nasty looking. Ah, oh, there's another one of those shard things. Hmm. Yep. Man, either that or those are some really good walls. Wait, what the hell? I was blocked off from here. Oh. Well. Doing the Resident Evil thing of jamming your face against the wall and pressing X until you find something of use. See, what also sucks 
Oh man, there's like three of those things down here now. I'm really hoping that those things don't uh, have some sort of fiery based attack. Because it's the fire that ignites those things is barrels. Which is good and bad. Alright, so we got several of those things down there. I shouldn't have to worry too much. You know, unless one of these guys decides, oh hey, I'm gonna get right in your freaking pathway. I don't know why I bothered with the thing. Ow. Wedge, wedge, wedge. I have to be on the other side for the wedge. God damn it. Oh god damn. I may have made a mistake. Wait, does the ash make them resistant to damage? Like, oh frick me. Round two, mofos. I'm just gonna grab this thing. I'm gonna dodge out of the way of everything. I'm going to hope that I do not die. Ow! Bloodstain, bloodstain, bloodstain. Hell. Ah, oh, come on! Okay. I gotta take this from a different angle. Because I'm not exactly sure how the hell I'm supposed to take out that many things all at once. But my sword apparently doesn't do that much damage. Hmm. Blend into environments. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be able to do against them. Uh, doesn't help that there's totally one of those Nadalia soul shards down there. So I gotta be able to take out something down there first. Or maybe I just gotta blow sh it up. That seems to be the most reliable thing. Think carefully and then move ahead. Thanks. Hurrah for fire! So says that guy. Why hurrah for fire? It's not like everyone, you know, is gonna be all fiery fiery do me do me death here. Unless I gotta corral, corral those guys into there. Don't drop their thing. Don't don't drop the barrel. Yeah, I think I just gotta like just corral those guys into there. Come on. If that's not the case, I don't know what is. And then like either I have to wait for them to carefully position themselves and then watch them explode furiously against uh that big guy there because they seem to wander around just aimlessly so I don't know that's what I'm kind of hoping because my biggest opponent seems to be that guy if I just drop down I think there's one of those guys down there too so well Why I'm running this way first, I don't know, just to uh, grab my souls. Whoa. Wait, how did that hit me? Ay, ah, no, 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 no. Ah! Oh. Well, I got one of those guys. That's one less of them I have to worry about. But I think that blue... Oh, no, no, no. That guy's getting really close. Ah, crap it. He's close, but he's not close enough to the other guy. Mm. Did that deal with that other guy that was hiding down there? Because I think I can handle... What is it? Three? Well, two of those guys and just one big guy. I just gotta avoid the one big guy until... Everyone else is destroyed, so. 
Come on. Alright, one down. Come on. Whoa. Oh no, the big guy's like lagging out or some shite. Well, less lagging out and more just being stupid. Ow! Found the big guy, found the big guy, found the big guy. Okay, heal, heal, heal. No! I didn't know he had that sort of reach. Damn it. Alright, everyone. You know the drill. Or at least you ought to know it at this point. Come on. Come in. Fell in the hole. Into the hole. Come on. Go down. Down. Yeah. Wait. This way. Yep. Yep. It's good. 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 Keep going. Good. Good. Maybe I should whip out the pyromancy glove for this particular area because for some reason things that are covered with ash seem to be weakest against those. With flames. One down. Those guys seem to be a little disoriented when you slaughter one of their allies. Oh, if only I could reach that one. Damn it. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Unless I can... No, not homing soul arrow. That one. Yes. You! Yes, you! Keep going. No, not this way, you moron. Damn it. Alright, back to the Yoldi method. Yoldi method's not gonna work. Oh, crap. Hit! Oh, come on! This is like one of the cheapest places I've been in. And that's saying something, considering I just came from freaking super mega destroy everyone land. Whoa! Okay, health. Alright. Ha! Yes! Sweet victory. Smelter wedge, smelter wedge! Alright. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just going to open up this door and leave you behind. Later, suckers. Oh, that took a bit, but at the same time, I felt like I actually made progress. I can't help but feel like these are actually things just plain dead. Route. Twinkling Titanite. Alright. Maybe I can upgrade my boots to the finest point now. I hope that wasn't it. Like, I don't think that was it, but that's that can't be it. I wonder if they got another uh, bonfire down here or something. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. Spellcasters. Just what I needed. You now, after the room full of blech. ay -ya! Oh, goody. There's two of them, too. I... Okay. Whoa, hi. Um... Hi. Ow! Frick, another one spawned behind me. This was about it. You know, my most everything I do that Star Souls 2 related. Whoop! Ha! Ha! Whew. These guys know what they're doing, don't they? I'd almost argue that these will wouldn't know what they're doing. 
Eh. Almost. Alright, so they fire big, dark, magic balls that do a ton of damage to you. Awesome. Only reason I whipped out the greatsword here was because it totally looked like that I should be able to... Okay, don't want to make that fall. Because they're spellcasters, and spellcasters are typically weaker against... What is that noise? Whoa. I hate... I hate walls. I... What the hell hit me? Oh, you hit me. Chug. Eh. Can we stay dead now? Alright. Should be able to handle these guys with no problem. Yeah, see? No problem. Whoa! Ah, uh, more of your freaking spell casting shenanigans. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me! Aha! I'm invincible! Whoa, hi. Okay, first, you. Second, stop that. Man, you are tall. Alright. Oh, so it's like destroy uh, Ash person, receive souls. That's not creepy. What? Ow. I was kind of hoping to backstab him. Is this a thing? I don't know. It looks like it was a thing. Tight spot. <laughs> well, it is. So I can't blame him for that. What sucks, too, is that most of these enemies are just kind of popping out of the freaking ash like daisies. To kind of paraphrase Wushu from Mulan. That's a good series. That's a good show. Well, good movie. Second one was kind of bleh. Well, that's gonna really suck unless I can find a bonfire soon. Then I'm probably gonna have to die and then come back from all the way back from where I was. Which of course would really suck. How bad would it suck? It'd suck a lot. But I am glad that I found that coal. Oh hey. Speak of the devil. I am glad I found that cor that I uh, picked up that quartz ring, the red quartz ring that was right in the middle of that area with a big fiery giant guy. 